Virginia. During the day, I'm a financial regulator. Boring. But at nighttime and on the weekends, I get to do my passion, my business. I currently make organic and natural beauty products. My beauty products range from natural soaps, foaming hand soaps, to scrubs and lotion, body butters and candles. My motto is bring the spa home with you. So often we go to spas and we love their products and we love the quality but then we go to these retail companies and get these garbage products. I decided to make my own products. Anything that you can use in your beauty regimen, I make with natural ingredients. I am seeking $168,000 and offering 10% in my company. What that money will be used for is three things. First, it will allow me to work with a distributor to expand how I make my products. Right now, I solely make these products by myself. So when I expand into other markets besides the DMV, I need to make enough products for everyone. The second step is to also get my brand into a kiosk. The kiosk costs money and I need employees. So the money will be used to not only purchase the kiosk space in one of the national malls here in Virginia, but it also help with the employment side of the business. And my final reason for wanting the money is to add my advertising and marketing. Right now, I'm well known in the DMV area, which is DC, Maryland, and Virginia. But if you look out, I wanna not only be nationally, so they know me in LA, they know me in New York, they know me in Miami and Atlanta. I also wanna be international, over in Italy, England, and Spain. So in order to do that, I have to expand my marketing, and that's what the money will be used for. There are numerous beauty products out there on the market and companies. So what makes my company unique? Well, one, I'm in a niche market of being natural and organic. You're looking at 90% of the market that uses chemicals in their products when they're making them, and then you have about 10% of the market that uses all natural ingredients like myself. Then you also have it where you have an, you have an industry that is not representative, yeah, that's not the word, it's not representing all cultures. So my goal is to make the beauty industry inclusive. And what I mean by that is simple. As a child growing up, I had skin issues and allergies. So I would want to go to your name brand stores and put smelling sexy and secret and all these things, but I would get whelps, I would get marks, and I couldn't use the products. So years and years and years, I was unable to use basic products. So then I got this moment like, stop complaining, make your own stuff. So that's what I did. Plus I got tired of my family stealing my products when I made them. So along with making my beauty products, I also decided to make a men's line. And you're thinking, you're not a man. Why don't you go make some men products? Because I have a brother and he told me he doesn't want to smell like peaches. So what I did was I added four additional fragrances that are more masculine and I added beard moisturizer to the line of beauty products. So you look at the beauty industry. Right now for personal care, the beauty industry spends about, the average consumer over, the millions of consumers spend approximately $3.5 billion a year just on personal care. Your minority users spend about approximately $1.4 billion a year on these products. But none of the products address your issues of eczema, hyperpigmentation, dry skin, keloids, and these type of skin conditions that are prone to your minority users. So my goal is to make the beauty industry inclusive of everyone. So what makes my products unique? The first thing is they're made by me and I'm awesome. Second thing is, is the ingredients that I choose to use. For example, 99% of the lotion on the market right now uses water. What does water do? It sits on top of your skin. Nothing more, nothing less. What I decided to use was aloe vera. Aloe vera is actually known for treatment of dark marks. It actually moisturizes your skin. So when you put my lotion on, you're moisturizing your skin, you're healing your skin, 
all in one shot. Another thing is I also use things of like shea butter, coconut oil, almond oil, and avocado oil. And you're wondering like, so what does that mean? Not only are those products good for your skin, but if you have a child that accidentally likes to lick lotion or whatever, so be it. Every ingredient in my products is natural, so there's no harm, no foul. None of my products have paraffins, artificial coloring, or chemicals. One of the main chemicals that's not found in my soap and my body wash is the SLS chemical, which is linked to numerous hazards and ailments in women. So you're wondering, well, Robin, if you're so awesome and your product is doing so well, what's your sales look like? Well, in 2017, when I first started the business, just by word of mouth, I made $15,000 in revenue. And you're thinking, $15,000, that's not a lot. Well, it is when you just walk into some place and tell people, my products are awesome, buy them. Along with my awesome customer service, my products speak for themselves. People have known to say my customers are kind of, hmm. They'll come in, they'll yell, they'll act like we're trying to hold the products from them, but we're not. But in 2018, last year, I was even more awesome. I made $50,000, $50,000. That's a lot of money. That's someone's salary. Just on people, word of mouth, coming to see me. Right now, you can buy my products on my website, or I also participate in local pop-ups. And pop-ups mean I go to different stores and locations, and people come and see me. People look for me at these events. And that's how I kept my customers. And most of my business last year was repeat customers coming back because they tried my products and no longer wanted to use the big store products. They wanted Rain's Natural Beauty. So basically you're wondering, well, how did this business come about as far as financing? I have fully funded this business by myself 100%. At this point to date, I've spent approximately $32,000 to $35,000 into this business grossing approximately $65,000 in sales. To me, that's outstanding, and that leads to potential growth in the future. If I can grow three times my income in one year, just thinking in the following years, you're looking at approximately $150,000 this year, and so on, and grabbing that little niche market where we're selling approximately $1.3 billion through minority users, if I just get approximately 5%, even 1% of that, my sales will increase. So I thought I'd bring some spice. Where from? But basically, what this business means to me, something about myself, I'm a natural introvert. So I'm not really one of those social people go out there and sell, sell, sell. But this business has actually brought me out of my shell and being able to talk to people. Uh, it lets me share my story, get to know their story, and build a family. Because what people don't understand is that beauty products are personal. And so in order to build that bond, you have to get personal with people and being willing to open up to, your, open up to them. And that's something that I've learned with my products. As you can see, I stock my products. So when my customers order, I'm all about them. And I'm really focused on what they need. It's a shame that you have an industry that you need your personal care that doesn't even consider your needs, wants, or concerns an issue. And that's what Rain's Natural Beauty will bring to the table. My business biggest obstacle to date so far, you would think it's funding, but it's really not because my customers come back because sometimes they're a little wild, they're a little loud, but they're loyal. And loyalty is something you cannot buy. My biggest challenge so far is getting my name out there. So getting on Shark Tank will let you meet me and it will let my products get out there to the masses. I thank you and I appreciate your attention. Bye.